Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create custom fields in Clio. So what are custom fields exactly? So let's say you need certain information about the client stored in that client's file. For example, um, the client's phone number or the case number or the defense attorney's name or a list of medical records that they've seen, right? Maybe different things for different fields. You may need certain things that are stored, it's constant and you want a, one place to go find it. This is where custom fields come in. For example, I'll go to one of my matters and this is just the test account. So I made up some names here. So I'll click on this matter and you can see there are custom fields here, right? So there's certain basic things that Clio has, but I may need to add custom fields that I want here. Um, so in order to do that, what I'll do is I come to open a new tab here. I'll go to settings. Okay. I'll go to custom fields. And I can start adding custom fields here. So for example, I want to add like the defense attorney's name, right? Defense attorney name. And I can choose what type of field I want. Let's say just to keep it simple, I want this to be a text one line. I can also say if I want this to be added to default, do I want all my cases to always have a line for defense attorney name? I'll click check this. If I do not, I won't check this. Also, should this be required? Meaning whenever I'm setting up a new matter, do I have to enter this information in or not? Usually I won't keep that required, but if I know I'm always gonna have a defense attorney, I'll put required and I'll click save. So now defense attorney name shows up, right? Maybe I want the defense attorney email as well, always in here. So I'll come down here, I'll click that and I have email, right? So that's gonna show up. So now if I go back here and I refresh, uh, what I can do is, I, you see, I can have now defense attorney name and email. So what I'll do is I'll come up to this area, I'll click edit matter, and I will come down to the custom fields. And you can see I have defense attorney name and email. So let's say defense attorney's name is uh, Darth Vader. We'll make it fun. And it's Darth Vader at gmail.com. I know that's not Indiana Jones's nemesis, but you get what I mean. So I click save and then I come down here and I can see this now. So now whenever I come to the matter, I click who's the defense attorney again? What's their email? I can come and easily click and select the email. So that's one reason to have custom fields and that's how you can make it in Clio. Another reason is if you have document templates you wanna create. So let's say you want to always, when you're sending a letter to the defense attorney, you always wanna have the defense attorney's name through a custom template. So so what you can do is you can go to Word and create a templated doc. I'll show you an example that we've made. And it basically has a templated doc. And it has some of the language we'll put in these documents, but it also has these weird things with these brackets around it. What well, these are the custom fields. So what will happen is when you generate a document, which I'll show you how to do, you it, the Clio knows what to put in these, these custom fields based on you giving it a sort of code here. So for example, I have defense attorney named Darth Vader, right? So what I might do then, what? so I need to find the code for that. So I'll go to settings. I will go to um, documents. And if you see here, if you look through here, here's all your custom field things. And if you'll notice, if I search defense attorney, you see defense attorney name, right? And see how it's giving examples Darth Vader in one case. So what I can do is copy this could also just select it here and copy this. So I may want to say dear and then put that there. And what will happen is it'll say dear this custom field. So now if I have different matters, hundreds of different matters, and it will always look for what is the name in the defense attorney field and it will pre-populate that. So whenever I generate a document, it will pre-populate this part of the document, this part of the document, with the name that I have filled out for that matter. So it will pre-populate it with defense attorney name, which would be Darth Vader. So it would pre-populate that, right? So now you can add a bunch of different stuff. You could add, as you see, we've added case number, claim numbers, uh, doctors, whatever. Whoever you want to add um, can be added to this custom field. So that is that's the two reasons why you may want to have custom fields. Now, we also will use this for like deposition notices, right? So if the date we want, we don't want to, when we generate a document that we send to the client, we send them a, a formal notice just so they, they have it. So when I do that, I don't want to be 
manually entering the date every time. What instead our staff will do is they'll add it to the custom field, the date, something like this. And then when they generate the document template, it'll already have the date pre-populated in the document template. So the document template is ready to go. We can just send it to the client. And so what we do is we do that we by, by adding it into the custom field. So this can get a little bit tedious. So whenever we get a document, if I have to change any custom fields like the date, the address, the time, the name of the building, you know, things like that, or whatever else you might think of, it can be tedious to do that. So we created the software, it's called Legal Ninja. What helps, and what that does, it helps automate this entire process. So what I'll do is in Legal Ninja, I'll say, you know, if I get a deposition notice, I always want to change these certain custom fields. And I'll come in here and I'll type in the custom field names. Um, so for example, the building name, right? And uh, the, 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 let's see, the address, the prep time, the date, all these different things I want to add in the custom field. And the reason I'm doing that is to either change the information that I can see when I'm accessing the client's file, or if I'm generating a document template, that's what I want to do. So what I'll do is I'll save these. And whenever I get a deposition notice, we'll upload it to Legal Ninja. I'll say, load the deposition notice template. It'll pre-populate everything that I put here. And as you can see, I can add notes. I can generate document templates, activate tasks. Let's do a whole bunch of different things within Clio. And if I need to, I can manually enter any other information I need last second. So the building name is here. I can, I can copy and paste from the document, paste it in here, what the building name would be. So for now, I'll just put building name because this is the template. I'll just put depo date because it's the template. So I'll copy and paste it in there. I hit submit and then it does in Clio everything I asked it to do here, but it does it in one click. So I just in one place, I set up, make sure everything I want is accurate. I hit submit and then it goes through in Clio and it will add, it'll add the custom fields or it'll edit the custom fields. It will generate document templates, generate Clio notes. Now something with the custom fields, you do need them set up beforehand. So if you, if you saw when I was entering things in here, it's looking what custom fields do I have built within Clio, which again is these custom fields here that you can see here, or you could also go and see them under settings, custom fields. So whatever you have here, Legal Ninja can plug into and um, uh, pull the names of these so that you can automatically insert information. You can add the custom fields and edit them all with one shot in one click in one place. So it's been very, very helpful. My team is three times faster right now using Legal Ninja, saving us a lot of time, eliminating all the boring, mundane, repetitive work that nobody wants to do so they can focus on higher value tasks. So like this video, subscribe to our channel. Talk to you soon.